everybody, welcome back to Daily Dose at Home. Today you've been learning all about the amazing dwarf crocodiles that live here at the Calgary Zoo in the Rainforest Building. For today's Daily at Home, I want to talk a little bit more about the Crocodilia, this amazing group of large predatory semi-aquatic reptiles that includes crocodiles, alligators, and a few other friends you might not be as familiar with. Crocodiles are so cool. They are what we call a living fossil. And what that means is that they haven't changed all that much since they first appeared on our planet 95 million years ago. For reference, an animal you might be familiar with who lived 95 million years ago is Spinosaurus, the incredible dinosaur with that big sail on his back. We're gonna talk a little bit more about Spinosaurus later. When we think about crocodiles and alligators, think about them living at the same time as this amazing dinosaur. There are three groups of animals in what we call the crocodilia. Some of them you might be familiar with, like crocodiles, alligators, and the other group are called gharials. And today I'm going to tell you how to tell the difference between them. And I'm going to bring along some biofacts to help us learn how we can tell what's a crocodile, what's an alligator, and what's a gharial. The easiest way to do that is to take a look at their skull. Crocodiles, there are 14 species in the world alive today. The largest is the saltwater crocodile, and it can weigh up to two tons. Crocodiles are easy to tell apart by looking at their snout. It is shaped like a V, and uh, it's kind of a little bit longer and pointed. The other way we can tell is by looking at their teeth. When you look at the side of a crocodile's mouth, you can always see the top and the bottom teeth because they fit together. Alligators are a little bit different. There are only two species of alligator left on the planet. The Chinese alligator lives in China and the American alligator lives in the United States. The difference in their skull from the crocodile is that it is shaped like a U. It's actually a little bit stronger because uh, alligators prey on harder shelled animals like turtles than crocodiles do. Crocodiles are more of a generalist. They eat all kinds of different animals. And then when you look at the side of an alligator's mouth, you can't see their bottom teeth. Their top teeth come out to the side. So it looks like they only have one row of teeth. The other group that belongs to the alligator family are called caimans. And they're a little bit smaller. They almost look more like our dwarf crocodile skull here. But uh, they are a true alligator. When we look at those teeth, we can see that we can't see those bottom teeth. The last group in the crocodilia are called gharials. And there's only one species, it's critically endangered species, left on our planet, lives in India. And uh, they have a really, really interesting face. They have a very, very long snout and they don't have a very strong bite. They mostly eat fish, so their teeth are really, really long and skinny. If you've ever eaten salmon at home, it's really flaky, it falls apart. And so animals that eat fish have very narrow and interlocking teeth to keep that fish in their mouth. Now, early on today's Daily Dose at Home, I talked a little bit about Spinosaurus. These amazing crocodilians that are alive today are what we call a modern analog. And what that means is that they are similar to animals that lived in the past. And by learning about these modern animals, we can help to understand how animals that have long been extinct lived. One of the similarities between members of the Crocodilia and Spinosaurus is that their nostrils are on top of their face. This helps us know that Spinosaurus probably lived in the water like a crocodile. Crocodiles lurk in the water with just their nose above. That way they're able to keep breathing while living in that aquatic lifestyle. We also see that Spinosaurus fossils have those interlocking teeth that we see in the gharial. And so we can hypothesize that Spinosaurus also likely ate fish. So crocodiles are a living fossil. They're super cool and amazing, uh, but they also help us learn a lot about fossils in the past. Now for today's daily at home activity, we're gonna test your crocodile knowledge with a true or false. You can click on that PDF and enjoy putting your knowledge to the test. Thank you so much for watching Daily Dose at Home. We greatly appreciate being able to reach out to all of our zoo members and visitors in this new online platform. 
Thank you for supporting wildlife conservation, supporting all of the conservation work that the Calgary Zoo is doing to save species here at home and around the world.